Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have the Jesu F2891 and it is a little problem but I think all of them uh, suffer from that and that is when you put your carrier on the FM or AM that it is a little delay and uh, I tried to look on the internet uh, how to solve it. I collected some information here and there and now I try to put it just in one video so the information is not uh, invented by me I just found it everywhere and I collected it and uh, hopefully we can fix it or even improve it so uh, let's first have a look at the issue Well, the thing is, if you transmit, there is a sort of a delay. So I'm now in FM mode, and you can see when the red light is on and how long it takes before the power comes up. It's almost a second, and it goes very slow. And then you think, yeah, maybe the needle is a little bit heavy. Well, let me change it to uh, RTTY. it's immediate and back to AM or FM AM seems even longer look at that So we could see that there is a little delay when starting the power when you do the PTT and on the RTTY setting it was immediate. So it's not that the needle is heavy. And uh, I am on the latest firmware. Let me show you. So here it is. This is from the beginning of the year. The 0110 and the DSP is to 0205 and there was nothing for the LCD. So I'm running the latest already. Now I read somewhere that you need to uh, adjust the TXG value and you need to do that per bond per power level. So that is a lot of work. I made a little uh, matrix and well I'm just now on the 14 uh, megahertz so I will just try to do that band. I think I'm in 100, uh, 100 watts so I can just do only that setting and then every time you need to store the value again you need to go in the menu store the value again so it is a lot of work but let's first see if we if it even does improve okay to to get to that setting okay so i'm in the 40 megahertz and i'm in the 100 watts so i will change that setting to get into the service menu i think it was a a b c and the power And just as a reminder, if you don't know what value you are changing, please change nothing because this is the service menu where you can really do harm. And I cannot emphasize enough that please be careful which value you change. I did only change the TXG setting and nothing more, nothing less because we are in the servers menu here. So these are settings that Actually, a user should not change, only if you know what you are doing. If you're not sure and you want to experiment, write down the value. It's A, A, B, C, and the power. And then we need to go to the 1103. Yeah, here we have the TXG for. So in the service menu, you have per power level, per band, you have the setting. And we go down and we need the setting TXG. So this is for 1.8 megahertz for the 100 watt setting, but of course we also have the TXG for 50 watts. And we have the TXG for 20 watts. And we have for 10 watts. And we have for 5 watts. 
So it's only the TXG setting. And this is for every bond. We have here the 3.5. We have here the 7. And it just repeats here. It's for 10, 100 watts. Be careful to only change the TXG. And well, this we go all the way 18 megahertz, 21 megahertz, 24, 28, and 50. We need to go to 14. And there are values here for 100 watts. Falk, no. MTR, no. TXG, this one, this value. And it is now on value 118. And let me just set this to 145. Then I need to store this, I think. Let's see if that improved something. And I can share the values that I uh, tested. Look at this. This is already an improvement. Is it just as fast as the RTTY or not yet? It's almost direct now so that does improve it so let's do that again let's go to a higher value i'm not sure i'm just guessing that it would be maybe 145 and then we need to do that for all power settings all so i was now in 145 let's try to set this to 150 uh, store and then I think you need to store it again like this so it is a lot of work doing this but if the result is that it is very fast let me show that again because it was not good on the camera I think look at this almost direct what about AM Ooh, AM is still a delay. Well, the AM is in 25 watts, so we probably need to do them all. So I hit here the 100 watts, 14, 14 days. Um, let's put them all around this 145. You can fine tune this later. Uh, I have here the 50 watts. I did that here, the 20 watts, 145 as well, more or less. Well, let's do this one then also. There is still the delay, but it is again a lot less. So that will be just a lot of work, but this is probably the solution. And the longer you try all your values, the, the better you probably have it. I would say just try them around 140 and then somewhere between 140 and 150, I think you get a nice result. And um, yeah, let, let's see again the before and after.
So you will find your uh, values also somewhere between the 140 and the 150. And maybe in a few bonds, you have an exception there that you need to go a little bit lower or a little bit higher. And that is just trying what works for your radio. If you like uh, to know how to update the firmware on the JSU, then I made also a very nice step-by-step -step video. And I upgraded mine really from three versions back step-by-step -step, all the way to the latest from uh, this January 2023. And uh, I did not break it. And if you follow those steps, then you probably also won't break it. But as a lot of people also say, don't try to fix a working system. But if you have a problem, that's a great video how to do that. So very short video, but I hope this will help you. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time.